Uh, Rory obviously won't play this weekend. Um, still hasn't got full range of movement in his ankle, so and he hasn't trained any footy sessions, so he will um, he will ramp up his rehab again today, and hopefully he can get a good footy session week next week and and be available next weekend. Josh Hall comes in for his first game for nearly two years. What are you expecting from him? Josh's form's been really impressive in the in the reserves. He's um, he's played mainly down back, and that's where we're picking him this weekend. Um, yeah, it's you know, it's a chance uh, probably to stake his claim going forward. Um, you know, he's very athletic, obviously, and uh, his his form's been very pleasing uh, as a tall defender. You know, he's giving a lot of run in the in the second, so he certainly deserved his chance. Uh, Tom Lynch is absolutely flying at the moment, but faces one of the toughest tasks on Alex Rance. How confident are you that he'll be able to keep up his form? Oh, I think. Uh, I mean, it's a high level of form. I mean, even the, and the greatest players in competition sort of fluctuate a little bit to a degree. Um, but he's such a competitor that you wouldn't think he's going to... Uh, if he had a bad game, he's not going to be less than a 5 or 6 out of 10. But, uh, uh, but being such a, such a competitor, I'm you know, fairly confident he'll play well. Jared Garlett, what's the likelihood of him coming off the extended edge in the weekend? Uh, yeah, looks like he'll play. Um, you now we'll put him in. He's uh, two or three back now on the... In the NEFL and uh, brings a bit of speed to the to the group. No, we're probably not the quickest team in the competition at the moment, and uh, with all our midfielders out. But no, no, we see him really as uh, I suppose a bright part of our future. Um, you know, we think he's got a great future ahead. He's worked extremely hard to get himself back after the after the ankle operation. So um, there's as much reward for that. Uh, no, but also for the future, him to get a few more games into the end of the season, then he can hit the ground running over the pre-season. Um, what about, I guess you, you had the great draw against the Eagles and then the win last week. What do you sort of use as motivation for this last few weeks of the season? Just a matter of keep building the momentum, keep building on the um, Yeah, we've, we've, I think since the, the break we've spoken about focus on, um, I suppose, being competitive against teams. Most of the teams we're playing are, are, have been in line for a top eight spot or a top four spot to be competitive against those teams and hopefully try and cause an upset. Um, I think the players have embraced that. They're really, you know, the training's been terrific, enthusiastic. It's another another good test this week against a team that's sixth or seventh on the level they are, but really in, you know, certainly in line for top four. Um, I think we've just got to take the game on. I think we've just got to back ourselves. And um, I think our effort's been pretty good. Last week was a little bit down, to be honest, I thought. Um, but generally the effort's been pretty good. So if we bring that effort and we bring that intensity, we're a chance. Does any trip to the MCG still special for this club, considering they don't have too many of them? Um, well, I think anybody, that, uh, any team that can play at the MCG, it's, I think it's a bonus. I think yeah, even here, Melbourne teams that don't play there, Melbourne-based teams that don't play there very often have always speak about playing at the MCG. So hopefully, um, hopefully in the future we can get a few more games. And Robbie, you were saying um, after last week's game, there are about 10 or 12 players um, that weren't over the weekend. Do you think that's a bit of a performance? Are you confident that won't be the case? Oh, yeah, you never guarantee it, but... Um, Probably out of 10 or 12, probably about 6 or 7, the effort I didn't think was great. Um, the other 5 or 6, you know, the effort was OK, they just didn't play well, but we didn't contribute a lot across the board. And when you have so many players who don't contribute, really you generally lose. Um, so it was pleasing in that aspect, we were able to graft a win even though we didn't play exceptionally well. So I, th I think those players uh, obviously realised that, uh, that they didn't play well and they need to bounce back this week. That's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it is uh, uh, that we didn't have anything, um, but we generally get one or two each week. So, fingers crossed for the rest of the year. Um, you talk about that effort being down. You're probably not going to get lucky enough to get a result if you play like that against the Tigers down the MCG. That way. No, with that effort, no, 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 we won't. No, 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 no. We need to bring the intensity and the effort we've had uh, the previous four weeks before that. Um, North Melbourne game, I was pleased with the Adelaide game, pleased with the GWS game, really pleased with the with the West Coast game. So that's our standard and that's our that you know that's what we're aiming for. Rocket, now, how much of an influence do you think the return of guys like Rick Lidio will be for um, Oh yeah, well he's a class player. I think the stats are uh, certainly have proven that he plays, they generally win. All the percentages are high that they win, so I don't uh, it's like having an ablet in the side, isn't it? I mean I mean you can't replace class and uh, 
Uh, no, he, no, he's a, obviously a very good player. He's an A grader. Um, uh, yeah, so, so it'll be good for them.